Hey friends, welcome to part 181. We are looking at some real questions. Uh, we have posted the previous parts in the members area for Cloud Kernel and Cloud Ninja members. So let us look at this question now. So you have like a company is there and they are designing identity access management solution for an application. So the company wants users to be able to use social media. See, whenever you see a question which has a flavor of uh, access management and internet access, so what it means is something like you know you have a Google account, you can use it to access various applications. Even Facebook works through Google, Instagram works through Google, and so on. So that kind of feature, how is it provided? Which AWS service will help you do that? A lot of time people get tempted at okay it is talking about access management so let me blindly put iam so this is wrong in this case because iam will not help you fulfill this requirement and aws config will also not allow you to do that why because config as you know it is about configuration like ec2 instance so you configured it two months back somebody made a change you want to know who made the change and etc that is the purpose of config and then single sign-on is a very different service this is for applications like you have once you sign into one application it automatically gives you sign into other applications so you use it for centrally managing workforce access to multiple aws accounts and applications okay so these are some of the benefits but this will not give you that social media access that we are looking for okay that is possible through cognito you have to use cognito so what it does is it is a frictionless identity and access management service that means use it to get into different applications like google like you use your gmail account to get into facebook insta and so on and it is secured and you can process more than 100 billion authentications per month if you take this service so these are some of the features okay and how it works so you can control access for your web application mobile applications and uh, it supports social and enterprise identity federation this is how it works so what are the use cases we would use this for engaging customers with flexible authentication we manage b2b entities you see this variety of multi-tenancy options and then you secure machine to machine authentication using this or you gain uh, secure access to s3 databases lambda and so on okay nhs uses it trend uses it then neiman marcus uses it so on so cognito would be our final answer option c cognito would be the final answer you have a security engineer they want a single tenant solution to create control manage their own cryptographic keys to meet regulatory requirements for data security okay so they want to so since we are talking about you know creating your own cryptographic keys this is a key management solution so your answer could be between kms or hsm okay why acm is not an answer because acm is used for encryption in transit for managing your ssl tls certificates that is the purpose and whatever certificates you have it will provision and manage the certificates for encryption it is not a key management solution similarly if you look at systems manager this is also not a key management solution why because this is used to manage your resources both on multi-cloud and hybrid cloud hybrid cloud means you have on-premises you have cloud multi-cloud means you have aws cloud you have azure cloud you have gcp cloud so multiple cloud platforms 
So this is not a key management solution. And in this question, nobody is talking about hybrid cloud or multi uh, cloud strategy. So this is wrong. Now we have to choose between cloud HSM and KMS. In our question, they clearly mentioned single tenant hardware security solution. So they clearly mentioned single tenant solution. If you see this question, they are saying we want a single tenant AWS solution. And since they are talking about generating your own cryptographic keys to manage your compliance requirement, so you have to trust on Cloud HSM for this purpose. So this is a hardware based security model. This is not a software based. So this is how it works. Okay. And then you can plug CloudWatch and CloudTrail to manage the activities and log the activities. It can manage your keys on FIPS validated hardware. And then it is single tenant HM instance. So you can run your own VPC here. I mean, it runs on the, your own VPC. It can run on your own VPC. See, when we talk about KMS, KMS is used for key management. That is perfectly fine. And it is used to encrypt or digitally sign your data. But it is not a single tenant solution. Now, a lot of people think what is single tenant? Single tenant means one hard, like one set of hardware is dedicated to one customer. So, but in cloud environment, if you are not going for dedicated option, so mostly uh, you and some other company people will be accessing the same hardware by virtualization. In this case, single tenant means you are the owner of the hardware also. That is your hardware. So cloud HSM would be our final answer. Option C is correct in this case. Now, when we look at this next question, they're talking about a company is using Amazon Workspace. What is a workspace? So you have something called workspace and then you have workspaces family as well. So what does a workspace do for you? Let's look at Amazon Workspaces. So this will give you all inclusive, fully persistent virtual desktops. <clears throat> it is like a terminal for every worker. You don't have to give them a very cool laptop even if you have a basic laptop you can use workspace and to provide virtual desktops to them so now we know what is workspace now what is that which task is the responsibility of aws according to aws shared responsibility model now we all know about shared responsibility model what happens in this model is you have all the blue boxes which is your responsibility as a customer and all the orange boxes or amber boxes which is which is which is which is aws responsibility not your responsibility Okay, so if you look at option A, setting up multi-factor authentication for each workspace user account. So this is your responsibility as a customer. In this question, they are telling what is AWS responsibility. So this is your responsibility. Configuring cloud trail for API client is up to you. Do you want your activity to be logged every time and again? Yes, do it. You configure it. AWS will not do it for default by default for you. C, provide security for workspaces user accounts through IAM. Now you want to provide the security, you create the user interfaces and whatever you create the credentials, you create the usernames, that is your responsibility. AWS has no role to play in this case. The only role that AWS has to play is they will give you environmental safety and security of the AWS infrastructure. Can you give this? No, you cannot give because you do not know where the hardwares are kept. You do not know where the data center exists. You do not know which security company, which security guys are providing security to this infrastructure and environment and you don't know what is the environmental safety that you have to provide is it in a earthquake zone that you have to build buildings which are earthquake resistant what is that environmental safety so you have no clue aws has clue about it they will help you with that if you're not yet subscribed please do so and help yourselves onboard the cloud journey there are so many people who have cleared these certifications and there are so many videos paid videos you can become cloud kernel cloud ninja cloud kernel cloud ninja cloud kernel cloud ninja members and gain access to those paid contents see you in the next part this brings us to the end of part 181